podcast playing lamp post. Oh, it's such a scary concept. Oh. Oh. Well, you're out in the middle of nowhere. It's life. Recent SCP activity was oh discovered by locals in the middle of the Thorwood, yeah, Thornwood Forest. Authorities contacted the SCP Foundation to deal with the aftermath of a random lamp post. SCP is currently under suspicion, supervision of Team Alpha. They are heading towards the location in order to conduct a research and give further answers to this unknown anomaly. Based on the rumors, the lamp post uses energy around itself, consuming anything that comes in contact with it. So stop being near it. Press enter. Should have been redacted, so just X's. It's like, make it more of a mystery, not just like, a word. Our intel suggests that this is Keter class SCP, which means that it is difficult to contain. We should be very careful while observing this object. Can I just put a box over it? Look here. SCP doesn't seem to show any signs of mobility, but is somehow capable of disappearing from one location to another in a matter of seconds. We attach training rules to it, then we'll be mobile. Mm. You can clearly see that we are surrounded by a forest, yet the object in the area appeared from unknown locations. We must contain this those objects. We must contain the trees? Here, take it this along. Multimeter. It is used to measure electrical quantities, like frequencies, signals, etc. Use it to find those objects affected by the lamppost and collect them. So everything is haunted. Yes. I'll be checking it. I'll be checking for other anomalies as well. Doctor Cooper will observe us, just in case if anything happens, and Doctor Thorne will provide us with a medical help. If, uh, we need any. Uh, which one's the medical team? I already cut my finger. I think it's the one in the center. Collect at least five samples. Report to Dr. Cooper. And afterwards we can discuss the discoveries together. Stay vigilant. Avoid interaction with the lamppost. And good luck. Can I touch it now? Okay. I found one. <laughs> yes, I freaking hate it. Oh, you're sprinting. Yeah, sprinting. Is this mushroom infected? Is this book infected? Is this gas? Oh no. How about this dead the body? The shovel has killed someone. Well, surprisingly, there isn't a like a one that kills people, but yeah. The shovel that kills? Yes. Okay, I could just get certain things you got one object it's not too big of an area it's like oh it's the whole forest yeah, four by four yeah this is the whole forest now they cut down everything else oh that's two objects i think uh-huh it's when it squeals this thing doesn't work it doesn't move at all i jumped the mushroom is that fun looking trash a thing a floppy looks like it has a face on it He's like a very grumpy face. Yes. Why is there so many mushrooms? Face. Dr. Weeby. Well, these have names. They've Do only got like three Thorn. objects. I can't go through you. They're very solid. So we need like two more objects? Uh, this feels very this far. Box an object? That was a... Uh, the coffee. Yep. I knew it. A bucket. Nothing. Should be, like, one more. <coughs> Probably over here it has to be. This bloody area? It had big feet. Somebody walked into a wall. Yay! Got it. Now we get to report. Dr. Cooper. I got, like, a light, some floppy disks. I forgot what else I put in my pockets. Gordon? 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 <laughs> Cooper. Cooper. Here. Here's everything in my pockets. Get a Impressive room. work. We need to pack those things and get them back to the lab to ensure their safety. 
why we ha why do we have to keep a floppy disk safe? Mm -hmm. Not to mention this area is very dangerous for us as well. Then why are we here? It's not that big. Although, do you not wonder where are those objects coming from? The entire road is closed. We barely got in with the van. You saw that too, right? It's not that big of an area. Oh, I see that. And also, it's just trash. Huh. Sorry. Hey, anybody else see that? Guess not. Okay. No one is allowed in this area yet. There are so many objects in here. Could it be that the SCP moves those objects from somewhere, maybe even from another dimension, like that weirdo behind you? Dora the Explorer. Uh, what, uh, what are we trying to find today? The evil creature? Where is it? Comes with the giant blue pointer thing. It's like, click. <laughs> and then dies. <laughs> God, shut up! Your analog multimeter is picking up high frequency. Damn. Oh no, the lamppost. How about behind you? He's not a lamppost at all. Oh, it's freaking out. Oh. We're all dead. It's called a road. It's called a rainbow road. Uh. It's a very high ceiling. Can I crawl now? Oh. Okay. This is this the way out? Is this a paper? Ah! We discovered something out of this world. It is a regular lamppost emitting a dim light. Anyone who tries to get close to it vanishes in front of your eyes. My theory is that this vortex of phantoms creates a dimension bridge between our reality and something else. A dark place where time is non-existent. The lamppost becomes active when there is a surge of electricity around. After that, it's starts emitting strong lights and light and if anyone touches it the lamp post will put the object to spirit right click to cancel yeah hey, more sometimes the lamp post can make a choice it can trap the person forever in time or return them back no one knows what happens <clears throat> to those who return but one thing is clear that those people are not the same anymore only the abandoned souls can Hear the shadow figure. It whispers your name, it suffocates your flesh, and feeds you with hope. When it's done, there is nothing left of you. Well, I can have cocoa. Yeah, it has cocoa. Cocoa, cocoa. If I got a doctor, doctor, then I would be fine. It's the way out. Dr. Peppy. Oh, I found you. I found you. <laughs> now chase me. The lab sucks at finding bricks. It's this way. Hmm. Well, I've been everywhere already. It's not that big of an area. Well, you turn on the computer. Now you can play some computer games for eternity. And you have beer. You have to do Let's Plays for Eternity. And they're all shitty games. Oh. <laughs> there you cuss it. I don't know if you play it. Why? You're the exit, I guess. Because just says find a way out. Yeah. Because I already found every other spot. Two notes that's already done. I also found, like, the shadow and... Left a lot of leftovers. A bunch of spines. Skulls and spines. And oh, at least it was beer, too. We could have a little fun. Box. A little fun. Oh. oh. You weren't here. Dr. Heathen. Can I talk to you? Can I touch you? Can. Do you have food? Come on. I am. Uh, to the oh. Left. More paper? Oh. The last one. Hey. To any observing this, it will look like a person, a dark figure, and in the blink of an eye it will vanish, but appear once more. We call this the Phantom Shadow, which was created by the lamppost. It is always around the corner. It makes you think of a place, a place where you feel safe, and it will trap you there forever without realizing that your flesh does no longer belong to you. Oh, okay, let me touch it. Ooh, it's darker. 
Oh, I have to find another dang corner. That one already found. That was a computer. That's sad. Hello, weirdo. Why are you supposed to be hiding on all corners? It's the right corner. Come on. There. Uh, Is the guy still killing himself? Probably. It's it's just too much of the same. Did they turn them all on? Maybe. Because there was another one that I didn't just touch. Which was over here. Because there, there. There. that's the lamp. And I was just going to the same freaking spots. <sighs> here. No, here. Here's the one I didn't touch. Is there a floppy disk on the ground? Oh, now. It was the post. freaking. Oh, God, you freaking lamp post. You wanted me to turn on all your damn computers. <laughs> Yeah, so that you can... T I think it's so that you can turn on electricity. Probably, I don't know. Hey, lamp. Go lamp. to the lamp post. You're the only lamp post. Did you touch it? Oh. Yay! Now I'm back home. Can I leave this job? Ah! My freaking... Can I steal all the stuff that you left on the ground? Ah! Can you fix my back problems? Hey, my thingy. I can't run anymore. Oh. oh. But, where's the van? Who has the van? Do you guys take the van with you? Damn it. <laughs>